Gawk at Unveiled, Understanding the Phrase. Hello language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into a fascinating English phrase that you might have come across in books, movies, or conversations, Gawk at. By the end of this video, you'll not only know what it means, but you'll also feel confident using it in your own sentences. Gawk at is a phrasal verb in English. When someone is said to gawk at something or someone, it means they are staring or looking at that thing or person in a surprised, rude, or stupid manner. It's more than just a casual glance. It's an intense, often open mouth stare that usually lasts for an extended period. For example, if someone walks into a party wearing a very flamboyant outfit, Others might gawk at them because it's unexpected or unusual. Gawk. This word alone means to stare openly and stupidly. It gives the idea of someone being so absorbed or shocked by what they see that they might forget to blink. At. This preposition is used to indicate the direction or target of the gawking. It points towards what or whom the person is staring at. Combine them, and you have the phrase, Gawk it, which indicates the action of staring and the target of that stare. To help solidify your understanding, let's see some examples. 1. The children gawked at the magician as he pulled a rabbit out of his hat. 2. Tourists often gawk at the tall skyscrapers when visiting New York for the first time. 3. It's considered impolite to gawk at someone just because they look different from you. If you want to use similar expressions to gawk at, here are some synonyms you can consider. Stare at, ogle at, rubberneck at, this one is more informal and often used when drivers slow down to look at an accident or something unusual on the road. And there you have it. Gawk at is all about staring at something in surprise, curiosity, or rudeness. We hope this explanation sheds light on this phrase for you. Remember, the best way to master any new phrase is to use it. So, try to incorporate gawk it into your conversations or writings, and soon, it'll become second nature. Until next time, keep exploring the beauty of the English language.